Well, hello, everybody. I am glad to be with you. Um, a verse that came to my mind that I just want to give you some ideas. Love to hear what you're thinking in the comments. Um, it's Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, and it says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Boom! My goodness. You know, we are um, being challenged every day, you know, where people have, well, let's just say the enemy. The enemy is constantly persecuting. He's constantly throwing stones. He's constantly throwing, you know, these, these, accusations against you you know and it's hard and it's challenging and it hurts but what's encouraging is that we get the kingdom of heaven all of the kingdom of heaven in our lives and so we want to focus on what heaven is doing and what heaven is saying did you know the kingdom of heaven is inside you constantly it is in you and it's bursting out it is moving all around you. And so I have faced persecution in a way. I have dealt with accusations. I have dealt with suffering and, you know, and some of you, there's some on a level that I will never get to experience that are being persecuted on a level. But what sustains us is knowing that the kingdom of heaven is our inheritance. We get every spiritual blessing. We get every blessing of heaven in our lives, even when others mistreat us, when others harm us, when the enemy comes against us and tries to depress us, push us down. You know, you may be going through a season right now where it's just enemies on your right and on your left. And I encourage you to look at Jesus. Remember the kingdom of heaven has every resource you need. It has everything your heart needs to receive to keep going so i want to bless you don't give up keep going bless those who persecute you look to your right and to your left you know those voices that you know what may be under the influence of the enemy but we battle not against flesh and blood we battle against principalities and darkness and rulers of the air those people that are hurting you that say things against you look to them and say God loves you, I bless you, and I release the kingdom of heaven on you and around you. And that changes your perspective. That causes you to focus on Jesus again. I understand it's hard, I get it, I know it's difficult, but look upon the kingdom of heaven. Look upon Jesus. He is the one that sustains you and you will be okay. The season won't last forever, my friends. You will be okay, alrighty. Have a good day.